Hey guys, welcome to the Houston Killy YouTube channel. Alrighty guys, we're getting ready to bring the GTO down and put it on some of these wheel dollies right here. And then we're going to take the old Pontiac outside and bring Mr. Jesse's Pontiac in. You ready for this? Yeah, man. Pretty you look like car. you're a little tired, buddy. Night shift blues, man. Night shift <laughs> blues. We're about to get a four barrel carburetor and a brand new intake put on his Pontiac here in just a few minutes. So uh, we're about to rock out and uh, let's play some musical cars and uh, get after it here. Alrighty Pontiac fans, looky there, we got ourselves an old school L Brock Performer intake. I uh, found this thing up in Bean Station and uh, we got ourselves a four barrel carb we're about to slap on this thing. So here is the project right here. So first things first, we are going to mark and take some tape. All of our vacuum lines, we've got to mark these and check over them so we make sure we put them back on the new intake so we don't have tuning problems right out of the box there. So uh, we can see we got one here, we got one at the back of the carb, and then we also got our booster uh, vacuum there as well, so we're gonna have to take care of that. But uh, first things first, I guess it's time to, to get the uh, radiator fluid drained a little bit and then uh, start taking some stuff off there. So let's rock and roll, guys. heavy intake right there boys. <laughs> that's what you call man killer oh my lord what get the scales out and just weigh that thing Woo! that is heavy wow and it's just a two barrel that's on that bad boy let's check this thing out here jason all right man check it out ain't too bad Clean up the exhaust. Yep, everything cleaned up. They rock and roll. That's them uh, pieces out of that um, uh, crossover. Oh. Uh, turn the choke on. Okay. Out. Yeah, that Alrighty guys, well we've got our intake on and we've got the carburetor on. Uh, we definitely got to make an advanced store run. We've got a few items to get, but not too many. Uh, we just got to get a gasket for a thermostat, a thermostat, a couple of pipe fittings to plug up some holes, and we'll need a, um, a 90 degree with a nipple on it or something like that to take care of that one. And then we're going to need some 3 8 hose to run out of the back of the carb over to the booster. And then for the, um, I think it's like a power valve or something like that that's in the back of the transmission that runs up here to the carburetor. I cannot remember the exact name of it. I'm sure you guys are going to hound me on it. But anyways, I know that's got to be hooked up for it to downshift and all that stuff. But uh, we're right there at it. We've had a good night and uh, a few parts will pick up tomorrow and then uh, hopefully you guys will be hearing this thing run very very soon are you you getting excited about it jesse yeah man like i said i just hope it's dependable yeah. where i can just get out during the summertime drive the lake and chill out that's right do my thing but uh it should help this thing out a lot and uh i mean it's looking pretty nice too i mean this was the old intake that was in it 
and um, it had an old GM style two barrel on it but this thing was not running good at all and we were having problems out of the choke it was on it too but um, hopefully uh, we found a few other issues it also looked like some of the vacuum lines back here at the back of it were leaking and it didn't even have plugs on some of it so I think it's going to be a whole different animal now and especially with the aluminum end tape I believe this thing will should come alive so uh, we're super excited about it and we're going to keep on rocking here Oh dang boys, we got fire! Jesse, it's yeah, running, man! man. <laughs> the That's all off better. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Letting this thing warm up right now. And uh, so far, so good. So we're going to keep an eye on everything, make sure we ain't got no leaks, and uh, tune on it a little bit. Alrighty, guys. Man, brought this thing back in, re everything back up. Anytime you do like um, a new start, on a fresh intake swap or even if you're changing gaskets on the intake you want to run it for a little bit get some heat in it and then retorque all of your bolts to keep everything nice and tight so it don't start leaking on you uh, so far everything's been working really good uh, we're getting ready to do another test drive with it here in just a minute and uh, right now we still got just a little bit of stumble on the throttle response there, but so far, I mean, this thing is really running pretty good and uh, we're pretty daggum happy about it. What do you think, Justin? It's a different animal now for sure. Yeah, big time. First 326 I've ever been behind and it runs good with a four barrel. It runs pretty good. I mean, uh, we'll check out this two barrel intake over here. This is what it had in it. And uh, it, it was a sick puppy. It just didn't. Oh, it's bad. We'll it, be making up the driveway. Yeah, it was. Uh, I definitely think the car was having several issues and we knew that was a problem and you know me and Jesse was talking why do we want to put a two barrel back in it when we can slap a four on it so uh, definitely I think a swap video I'm really happy with how everything's kind of turned out I think this thing really turned out clean too I mean it it really made the motor kind of looks a whole lot better look a whole lot better i mean it really looks does like a regular motor now if you ask me <laughs> that's right uh just to kind of go over a few things here that uh, we found out uh one thing we were able to reuse the linkage bracketry and return springs so that was really nice one thing i did find though we had to use a spacer down here and i'm not quite sure what the difference is or or why we end up having to go with that but that's what it took to make everything happy right there uh, another issue that we had found that we didn't know it was even going on was the vacuum hoses. So one of the vacuum lines that goes down to the transmission wasn't even hooked up and uh, we were having problems with the car shifting. So we fixed that problem, pulled that line out, cleaned everything up and ran us one hose all the way down there and uh, it definitely this thing shifts a whole lot better now, don't it? A whole lot better. We still need to figure out the deal on the, from first to drive, it ain't no count. But from drive all the way down the road, it's a hot rod. Yeah, and that's really weird. That's something I'm gonna have to ask some of my carburetor buddies about. And if you guys know what it is, be sure to comment down below and let us know. Number one, we've got a little stumble. At, like as soon as you hit the throttle, it wants to stumble a little bit. But then if you put the car down in first gear and, and go wide open, it's really kind of weak. And then if you manually shift it in the, you know, in the drive, it's, it's still kind of weak. It almost acts like the four barrel isn't kicking in. But if you just have it in drive and let it shift on its own, I mean, it, it's like a whole different animal. You can hear the four barrel coming in. I don't know uh, if just the motor itself ain't pulling enough vacuum four to four barrel or right know. i'm not quite really sure what's going on there i'm gonna have to kind of do some research on it. i've never had that to happen anytime i'm down in first gear it runs even better so uh definitely uh you guys uh comment down below and see what you guys think is going on i don't know if that has to do with the timing in the distributor if it's not advancing the right way or what or exactly what's going on there it's kind of weird but uh you know, besides that, this machine is running a whole lot different. Um, we'll crank this thing back up here in a minute and we'll do a little drive, let you guys hear this thing run. But uh, I'll tell you, we're, 
we're very, very happy with just oh, a little bit of time we got in it. I'm just happy it just starts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Dude, shoot. It, it did not like cold starts. It did not like warming up. It took forever for you could even, before you could even pull out. But uh, now with that thing, it starts up really quick. It's gonna be interesting to see how it does on really cold days, but, uh, yeah. and I mean, it, it works really good. And by the way, Heath, Heath, if you're watching this man, thanks for the carburetor hookup, dude. Yes, man. definitely, <laughs> definitely. And I mean, we didn't really have to adjust on it much. Uh, we still got a few kind of little, um, very small increment adjustments I think it needs. But besides that, I mean, it's moving, it's rolling, and everything's working pretty good. Another thing that we found out about this thing, it kept wanting to overheat before we did this swap really bad. And like you couldn't run it long at all. And something we found out was the thermostat that it had in it, it had a 195 thermostat. And uh, I definitely don't suggest that. It's a little bit too warm for these cars. And, and either it didn't work and it was stuck but it would just keep getting hot and would not yeah, cool it off. It was getting so bad after I just drove it, let it run for 20 minutes, brought it up here, and I'm just five minutes down the road. I get up here, it would just be smoking like a freight train. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. But uh, it definitely runs a whole lot better. So uh, enough this talking. I just wanted to kind of wrap this thing up here. We will crank this bad boy up, take it down the road, and let you guys see this, and uh, we'll end this video out here. So uh, let's rock and roll, guys. JC, fire this bad boy up, buddy. You got it right, dude. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Rock and roll. Oh, dang, boys, we're rolling now. It's time for a test run. Let me hop in this bad boy. Yeah. All right, I'm in. Rock and roll, man. Clear. Yeah. Oh, man, I can already tell this thing is running a whole lot better, buddy. Let's see it, dude. Boy, there's nothing like riding in an old hot rod, is there, Jesse? No, not, not, nothing like it, dude. Nothing like it. Nothing like taking a freaking 40-year-old car down the road. <laughs> you got that right, brother. I know it's at night time right now, guys, but we do most of our working at night time, and I know a lot of channels, they do all their stuff, all kinds of daytime video and stuff like that. And one day, hopefully, we can do that, but this, <laughs> this is our working hours right here, ain't it, buddy? Pretty much, dude. <laughs> That's it. That's it. But, uh, yeah, you know, our temp's doing good over there, and Jesse can see it real good. So, uh, you know, man, this whole car's running pretty good. I'm definitely very, very happy with it. Yeah, yeah, it's been running about all evening. It ain't got up to 180 yet. No, I mean, we've just been... Definitely that thermostat helped it out a ton. Domino's guy. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Uh, the real superheroes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, another little secret too, man. Something I'd found out a long time ago. When you guys uh, need like brass fittings and stuff like that when you're working on this stuff, uh, definitely go to Lowe's or Home Depot. It's like half the price of what uh, um, like going to an advanced store is. Oh my goodness, the advanced store is so high anymore trying to get fittings. It's crazy, ain't it, Jesse? Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, a 90 fitting that we needed was freaking ten dollars yeah ten dollars like, at the oh, bank store same fitting at lowe's literally got it for like two dollars and eighty cents or something like that it's crazy crazy. Crazy. crazy yeah it looks like we've got the float sound good because it's going up this hill pretty decent i don't know if you guys can see it or not yeah there we go i think that angle there helps a little bit got this so we got our speed bump we'll hit her here's a little test spot here yeah here's a little test spot that's right we're in mexico right now <laughs> that's right all uh, right let's see what this old bird will do i'm in drive so. all right let's see what it sounds like oh yeah here we go oh let's let that 326 go boys Woo! that's what i'm talking about skinned it back 
Man, this thing come alive, boys. That's what I'm talking about. That tuber ain't got nothing on this. Woo! Oh, man, that thing feels good now. It feels oh, real good. Man, it brought this thing alive. That is crazy right there. <laughs> From a two barrel into a four barrel. Insane change. Insane change. Insane. Insane. In the membrane. In the membrane. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Heck yeah, Jesse, uh, man, this has been an awesome video, buddy, man. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to do this, and, uh, no sweat, man, man. It's all in the fun, brother. That's right. I've had a blast doing it with you, man. So, uh, you guys be sure to like, share, and subscribe. We're going to head on back to the shop, chill out, clean the place up, and, uh, man, today's been a good day. You guys have a good one. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. Be sure to check out our other videos down at the bottom. Don't forget to check out tsrracingproducts.com and make sure you get yourself a Houston Kilby Full Metal Goat t-shirt at kilbymarsports.com. And if you want to continue seeing new videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Until next time, you guys have a good one.